pandemic is still taking a toll on unemployment figures here in Colorado, adding initial claims for both regular and gig workers pits that number at almost 23,000 last week. That is up more than 4,000 from the week before. Colorado has paid almost $4.7 billion in unemployment benefits since March 29th. National filings did drop a bit last week, down to just more than $1,006,000. Well, the Energized Colorado Gap Fund is going to provide $25 million in loans to small businesses around the state. This program introduced by the governor, it pairs public money with private sector donations. And when the pandemic hit, many small businesses had to close while many big ones were deemed essential. We all feel the same way in the retail business. You can't just let the big guys um, bring in all the money. I think we'll all make a stand. We simply won't. We just won't close. We can't. So Jim Sherwood wholesales to stores in the tourist industry, and he thinks the governor took the right steps early on. These awards are going to prioritize businesses in hard-hit areas like rural Colorado. Applications for this are going to open up on Monday.